Some argue it's the biggest bank of them all, the United States Federal Reserve. America's Federal Reserve System has a superpower. It can create money as easily as mere mortals can make flyers for a garage sale. The Fed just hits print and out comes new money, which then gets funneled into the banking system. If I may switch metaphors now, like the nourishing waters of the Mississippi. Now, it's not easy to divert a river, but some economic thinkers argue it might be time to change the whole money system, starting with the Fed. What if that mighty river of Federal Reserve money didn't flow to any and all banks, but just toward banks that have a mission to build communities, create jobs, and serve the needs of Main Street? One state already does a version of this. There's a state-run Bank of North Dakota that acts as a kind of mini Federal Reserve for the state. It uses its money to lower the cost of loans for things the people of North Dakota think are important. Loans to strengthen local businesses, local farms, and students paying for education. There's a move to copy this mini Fed model spreading to other states. Shifting the big Federal Reserve to support what's called narrow banking could benefit lots of people on Main Street. So what's not to like? Well, Wall Street might not be happy. Big banks have been getting a lot of government support. And many say that has spurred them to take exotic risks from the booms and busts that follow. This is not a partisan Democrat or Republican thing. Big financial services companies give a lot of money to both parties. And neither party is likely to go for a shift in the money system like this. Any push for change would have to come from Main Street.